Today, I want to teach you step by step how to make this kind of scene inside the After Effects. Editor, have you ever imagined having one terabyte of premium files and editing videos like this? With the Creative Pack, you'll get exclusive files to edit in any software, whether on your computer or your phone. Plus, you'll receive eight amazing bonuses, including a program pack, an After Effects pack, an overlay pack, a music pack, and much more. Get your pack now, click learn more. First, I'm gonna create a new solid, so control Y, and I'm gonna type it E, 3D and I'm gonna add the element effect. All those uh, files I'm gonna use, for example, the element, the iPhone, the room is all inside my back. Have all the After Effects, all the premieres, all the plugins, everything you need is like 500 gigabytes in the cloud and it's malware free, so doesn't have any malware or advertisements. So it's really easy to download anything you want. I'm gonna click right here in the Accent setup. And the first thing, I'm gonna click right here in the import and I'm gonna import the room. So this is the room. Click right here, use all normals and click right here and normalize size. To move inside the enemy 3D, it is really easy. So with the scroll of the mouse, you can make the zoom holding the left mouse button you can make this kind of like camera animation and holding the middle button of the mouse you can make this so yeah it is really easy to to move inside the element okay the first thing i'm gonna get right here in the presets physical and you can put like a bright line in this name right here yeah that's good and we need to change the wallpaper of the monitor. I'm gonna find it first. So I'm gonna hide those things right here to find, I guess, is this one. Yeah, is this one right here. Uh, double click and you can put like monitor wallpaper. And I'm gonna just unhide it, those things. And to put, uh, wallpaper right here it is really easy just click ok control and uh, the settings it's gonna be those right here control y and i'm gonna find something cool mm, i guess this one right here me with my girlfriend that's cool just increase it and yeah that's perfect so go back get this new composition but like right here and hide it okay go back to element effects go to custom layers custom texture maps go to layer and select the layer click right hand extend setup click right here on this image go to diffuse click right here and custom layer and as you can see yeah that's perfect don't forget uh click right here okay and okay as you can see, uh, like it's a little bit like darker, you know what I mean? So you can just increase a little bit of the brightness. Click right here on diffuse again, and just increase the brightness to improve it a little bit more. And as you can see, yeah, that's better. And then just increase a little bit of the, the brightness. Um, like right here, and as you can see, that's very good. Okay, uh, the room, it's... It's perfect. Now I'm gonna go to import again. And I got the iPhone. This iPhone, it's like perfect because um, most of the models, you cannot like uh, change the wallpaper. You know, it's it's just the phone. But as you can see right here, I have all the materials and things like that. So you can change it like everything you want to and have all my editors back. Okay, so yeah it's it's just perfect just perfect i'm gonna click right here on the okay and we're gonna do the same uh for the iphone so control n i'm gonna just change those uh resolutions there with the height because uh the iphone is like it's it's vertical right it's not horizontal so control n i just invert those configs right here and as you can see it will be like that and you can now just get 
I knew in my editor's pack have this uh, template for uh, WhatsApp. As you can see, everything it's uh, you can edit everything you know and have on my editor's pack also. So it is pretty easy to use too. And I'm gonna just bring to the composition, hide it, go right here, effects in control and uh, texture maps. Just put this iPhone control as don't forget and save it you don't want to lose your project i'm gonna put like right here project oh project v2 version 2 you can go back again to accent the top and just oh don't forget change this this base color to white and you can change that to fields go right here and ios yeah this is perfect again you can increase a little bit of the brightness and we're gonna just uh, position this iPhone. You can click right here and you can just change the scale, the position. Mm, you know, but like right here. I'm gonna increase a little bit of the scale, a little bit more, I guess. Nine, that's perfect. Um, something like this. You can change also like everything you want to. For example, I can go to physical right here. And put like place can mate right here, change to black, for example. This and yeah, that's perfect. Control Alt Shift C. Just click OK. And we're gonna just change a little bit of the camera. And pressing C on your keyboard have those tools right here. This is a pen, like make this. An uh, animation, this is the zoom, make this animation, and this is the orbital, make this animation right here. And you can just use those tools to make your animation. Um, the first animation I'm gonna make it's like on the wallpaper, on the camera. Select the camera, press B, on the shift, press A, and you can move it from here also. It's a little bit better because you have more control i'm gonna like but like right here you know and let me see i just increase a little bit yeah that's that's perfect i'm gonna make those keyframes go like two seconds maybe three and just do this we'll make this we'll make this animation right here and then change just a little bit of the position and i'm gonna f9 those keyframes, your graph, and if your graph is like that, just press uh, right button of the your mouse and edit speed graph, and just make this graph right here, or you can make this graph right here. It's your choice. You can just increase a little bit of the quality, and as you can see, it's making this right here. I'm gonna make a new node, so click right here, new no control shift d then let's one get this and put on the new click right here press p holding shift press r mark those keyframes and now i'm gonna just uh, put on the phone so i just change this is a little bit hard you know but yeah, it's not a big deal. Uh, just go to right here on the iOS. But like those messages right here. A bit right here. And you can change the message also. So for example, this one right here. I can change this right here. Hello. You can change everything you want to, you know. And you can change also this name. Right here for example so right here what's up and i'm gonna change for example the picture so i'm gonna put this one just put right here toxic modes click right here and just select the profile picture and yeah that's perfect and as you can see but as you can see it's not very pretty right it's not like i don't know it's not realistic but we can change a little bit of this room the first thing we're gonna change 
is the shadows. Just go to render settings, image occlusion, enable AO, and just increase it as much as you want to. You can go also to lining and has some lining right here. You can choose like one. Um, but I guess I'll just make make one and also control alt shift l i'm gonna add a point and um, let's get it for intensity just press b within shift press a you can change the position of this light i'm gonna increase a little bit of the intensity i'm gonna create a line and will be an ambient line yeah that's right will be like white yeah something like this and I mean, that's, that's good for me.